<laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Now I'm sitting just to make sure that we end this thing with my life intact. <laughs> I don't want to lose my life. <laughs> I told you, this 43-year-old thing is not a joke. Pink champagne, I'm totally vibing. It's true what they say, it's all about timing. It's midnight, we're going all night. Can you pass a drink to get the vibe right? Don't feel like having a bad life. Pass tequila with some salt and Hi guys, welcome to See Chronicles Unscripted. If you're new, please do consider joining this family by subscribing. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Now, welcome to my Middle Eastern fragrance collection. The fragrances that I have on this counter are all from the Middle East. I did make sure that I remove all my Western fragrances because I do have some, you know, from... Um, the popular houses that you may be familiar with but these are from the middle east and most of them are fragrances inspired by popular fragrances on the market so i'm going to start with this section there is no rhyme or reason why you know things are this way i had to go by bottle i tried by all means to go by house first i wanted it to be all about the maison alhambras if you notice this is all maison alhambras like maison alhambras uh, maison alhambra alive now oasis um, um what is this modern mask and blah 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 but then the bottles were kind of clashing there and then i thought okay i'm gonna do it by color and then after that i said no i'm just gonna do it as is and then i'm gonna explain myself as we go so this is not gonna be a phrase review or anything but i will pick random fragrances guys and the good thing about watching what i am showing you here is you get to know what they're inspired by okay so we have a live now there and angel nova dupe the uh maison alhambra panta and then followed by uh sugar forbidden sugar that is off paris corner this particular one is a frank Boclay uh sugar okay tube i'm gonna put this one back it's a maison alhambra fragrance inspired by titiana terenzi's oza but they're called their own oasis so candid is a jean paul gaultier so scandal clone if you can see that okay and then we have cherry cola inspired by manceras tonka cola and then we have uh this one this one is also from uh, paris corner but this one is inspired by sidwacht Boy, boy C, okay uh, this particular one is called set what essence i'm going to remove these two horse heads there so that you can see that one at the back right that is gusta from maison alhambra also a fragrance inspired by titiana terence's gumin and then the first horse head i removed is your kahila platinum that is a jean paul gaultier lebu clone uh, from the house of Paris Corner and this one is called Kahila Lux again from the house of Paris Corner but this time inspired by Kali's invite only ember 23 or something like that then there is that patchouli something patchouli number seven from Paris Corner right there with that ring there that one is your Van Cleef and Appel's clone okay patchouli and then we have Wayward Charlie Another bottle that looks like that one that I said is Forbidden Sugar. This is also a clone of Frank Barclay, inspired by cocaine. Okay, it's called Way White Charlie by uh, Paris Corner. Now, when it comes to Paris Corner, let me say something here. Paris Corner has got lines and sublines and stuff. They have bottles like this. Not all the bottles like this, like not identical bottles are off the identical line. Like, I'm just trying to explain that this one is the Emea collection. It's also off Paris Corner. This one is the Monster collection. Cafe Intense, inspired by um, Intense Cafe Mancera. It's also off Paris Corner. Um, and then they have the regular uh, Paris Corner, like this. Just Paris Corner, which is the mother house of the, you know, the, of the company. It's just Paris Corner with the logo there. And then they have this subsidiary again called Pandora. Okay, so that is what I just wanted you to know about Paris Corner, that they kind of have like sub, sub brands and sub brands, but they're still Paris Corner. So if I don't elaborate as to which Paris Corner, don't worry. If you just go Paris Corner, 
uh, eternal musk, it will come up. Whether it's Paris Corner Pandora, you get my point. Eternal musk, that sort of thing. And if my shelf is not shelving, according to you, this was a DIY. I'm a heavy DIYer, guys. I like doing things myself. So uh, if it looks rough around the edges, this is so not your IKEA, but it's serving the pop purpose. Okay, then we've got the We The Passion. Uh, this one is a must have if you love your Dios. Midnight Poison, a discontinued fragrance. It does perform well. Mine is almost finished. And then we've got the Nui Pandora and obviously the Nui uh, Trisso by Lancome Clone. Glacier Ballet. This one is going to be inspired by um, Jean Paul Gaultier's Lebel. And guys, <laughs> I often get comments about how I pronounce certain things. The way fragrance houses name their fragrances. It's almost like it's a like a linguistic or whatever it is, like a tongue tie, like how fast your tongue can move, like how can you roll your tongue type of situation when it comes to the names. So if I botch some of the names, please guys don't be too sensitive. I had a somebody come in the comment section talking about uh, more more I'm gonna call it mocha wood because they said that is what it's called. I've been calling it mocha wood for for a year now, okay, because I will pronounce words in the way I pronounce words in my vernacular or in English. It's it, there's no pun intended. It's not that deep. It's when I decide to do a you know a video like this, I get an inspiration. I don't quite sit and then start to think, okay, how do I pronounce that? And guys, I'm not saying do not correct me. I love being corrected, but just don't take it personally. It's nothing personal. I was saying Givenchy for a hundred years until somebody put it in my comment section. It's it's G Von Shi. Okay, they spelt it like that, and now I know better. G Von Shi. Jibonchi, I'm sorry. Jibonchi. Okay. And I am trying as well to just make sure that my tongue, you know, gets used to some of these pronunciations. Like now I know to say girlang. What what you think about that? And you never taught me. So anyway, back to the fragrances, guys. On this uh row. I have uh, the Rave Nows. This is a subsidiary of Latafa. They came up with this line, Rave, Rave, Rave. Okay, so this is the Rave Now White. I don't know what this one is exactly a dupe of. Oh, it does smell like um, MFK's Amiris or something, but not exactly a hundred. This is a hundred Burberry Her Elixir clone. Okay, very nice one at that. It's called Rave Now Woman. And then we have the black one, which is just a pineapple delight. If you love pineapple, okay. And some people are going to say they get a little bit of Nishani Hasevet from this or a lot of. Okay, so you could pass off that as your Nishani Hasevet, uh, you know, smell alike. This, I don't know what it's cloning. It's one fragrance that I wouldn't, I'd say test this, this one and the blue one. I don't know what they were trying to do with these two. These are the two that I really don't care for the line, but from the line, but what I can say is I have all of the ones from their line, okay? And then this is an Arizona Alhambra. This one's called Min Infini Elixir. It is your initial side effects clone. A lot of people, when I did a review of this, said, thank you, thank you, thank you. We thought this is um, an Atomic Rose clone and we didn't care for it. No, it's not. It's a side effects clone, you know, of Initial, right? So that one's called In Infini Elixir by Maison Alhambra. And then we have Frenetic Delicious from Enmir. A Fev Delicious clone. This is a good one to have because Fev, Fev Delicious by Dio has since been discontinued. And then we have Kismet for Men. Okay, this one is a Maison Alhambra one and it's very popular. And then we have that one. This one's called The Shine okay by Maison Alhambra and it's inspired by Gucci's Ashant for the Neef and then we have of course the Eternal Coffee, Eternal Musk, Eternal Meadows and I'm gonna call it a wrap when it comes to this you know side because we don't want to spend an eternity on one side on the second shelf I tried I was trying to make sure that everything is gold everything looks royal and stuff like that until I didn't know what to do with that you know personally I try to avoid I try to avoid gold wearing gold and silver you know at the same time so this though it looks aesthetically pleasing it's just something that i just ended up putting there because I, I i just didn't know what to do with it but i wanted this section to be more about the golds okay most of them if not yeah most except maybe for just one and that one are going to be latafas so 
on the side this is Fakha x straight a one million clone then we have emir i did a full review of this one this is just your cardamom bomb i don't know what it's inspired by but it comes in an, a titiana terenzi box everything to the t they 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 replicated everything but it, it doesn't smell like you know a titiana that i know of at the moment not that i've smelled all the titianas okay then there's these two that were a huge flop but I have them, Lutre Oud and Lutre Mas. And then there's my Sondos, I love this one. Sondos, okay. Love, love, love. And then there is that one, Sir Al Malika. Sir Al Malika is almost like your Oud mood, but a subtle one with a very apple prominent note. And if you want to know what it's closest to, it'll give you a little bit of uh, Lancome Oud bouquet right there. And then we have that one there, a bun. Okay, a bun to me smells like Tom Ford's Rose Brick um yeah and then we have i'm not going to talk about that one that one's got a bad atomizer but this is your baccarat rouge 540 x-ray clone it's called ijao um, aura and then we have this one which just feels oody a typical latafa as per usual and then of course we have our our self i did feature that one in a full review this one is off at our zafran it's called jazab gold Targeted for women, they're inspired by Nui Tweso. Um, the Nui Tweso. If you cross check with some of my reviews, you will get accurate information, guys. Like I said, we're just trying to make sure that this video doesn't last an eternity. 24 karat gold 999.9 by Latafa. Love, love, love. Very odd. You know, leathery fragrance there, smoky, masculine leaning, but I love it. And then Lean, Lean from the new Litter for Pride collection is my absolute favorite as well. Mango Bomb right there. If you love dates, you can go ahead and buy this one. This one is inspired by House of Oud, um, Dates Delight, Dates Delight, House of Oud. And then we have Bayan. This one is simply put your LV Ombre Nomad clone right and then we have pure udi this to some extent smells like uh you see how is how hard it is to recall some of these names and and some of y'all be saying oh no you didn't pronounce it correctly after i'm cracking my head like this this one is called pure udi it kind of smells like um quita Ventus woman okay quita Ventus woman right so i'm gonna put it back there and fix that then we have this roll owl food this one honestly and that one there's very little difference there so you could save your coins and then we have of course amir al oud intense this one's a lot of people's favorite it's a by the fireplace clone and uh, newly added to my collection guys is gonna be latafa al nishama al nishama smells a lot like initials paragon okay musaman white is a fragrance i couldn't wait to add to my collection guys inspired by louis vuitton stellar times love 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 the full review is coming this week and then there is this one guys higher team your caramel bomb spicy there woody aromatic masculine leaning and of course from the niche collection we've got kanja this i'm letting sit i'm gonna get back to you as to what i think about it because i just want it to sit there and take its time but latafa have released a niche collection and i'm pretty sure if you follow latafa by now you will know that they have a niche collection and then we have confidential private gold this is simply put your tiziana terendi kerr k clone now we're on the third left shelf and on this shelf guys i try to make sure that i put the swiss arabians and i put the amorphs as well as the ajmals and then i dropped a few latafas there because i do not have like tons and tons of you know some of these ones okay so from the um, uh, let me start from the this side okay this is an ajmal okay now this one is called um viva viola it is just your uh, nice fruity floral some people liken it to uh mon Paris. This is Afnan Rare Tiffany, a very odd fragrance that you may want to test out. It's kind of like built around aldehydes, but I love it very strong. This one's probably going to last like, say, I don't know, an eternity as long as I keep it safely because it's a very heady type of fragrance. This is also from Ajmal Sacred Love. Some people get hints of Davidoff uh, cool water from this. And then this one is also uh, from Ajmal and it's called uh, Evoke Gold. You will get a little bit of like a, like a YSL 
uh, lip intense kind of semblance from this fragrance. Then we have, of course, Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. A lot of people love this caramel bomb. And then we have your Star Starry Nights uh, clone there from Swiss Arabian. And this one's called Valencia. And then I have these two oils from Swiss Arabian. Uh, both of them are built around the pineapple note. One is called Jamila. And the other one is called Amali, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have a Swiss Arabian Shachaf for men. Nice summer fragrance uh, with a little bit of a nutty tone there. A creamy backdrop to this one. We have Shachaf Oud. Very famous for, you know, nailing that uh, Lancome Oud bouquet, uh, you know, DNA. Unfortunately, Shachaf Oud broke as soon as I finished recording. And, what did you do now? and this is what happened, guys. Just broke my Shachaf Oud as soon as we finished recording. And it had to be Shachaf Oud. Imagine, it could have been Shachaf Oud. It could have been whatever. Well, at least it wasn't Oud as well. But that's my Shachaf Oud gone. And then we have Shachaf Women. This one's going to be fruity as well with somewhat of an apple. They're very summer leaning, but very pleasant as well. And then we have Oud Asrach. This Oud Asrach, guys, is uh, a bit like Honey A Oud from Mental. It's a lot of cinnamon and spices in there. Caramel, the lot, quite woody, quite spicy, quite savory there. That's what you're going to get from Oud Asrach. And then we have this range. Okay, this is my Rose 01 inspired by Delina, one of the best Delina uh, clones on the market, Swiss Arabian Rose 01. And then we have Ishk, okay. And this is also inspired by Parfum Somali, but I've forgotten the name. Uh, no, this one. This Wala is inspired by Parfums de Mali Percival. The Ishk is one that I'm not a hundred, you know, percent sure what it is inspired by. And then we move on to the Amafs there. There's Club de Nui Imperial. You guys always ask me which is the best best Amaf to buy or best Delina exclusive fragrance clone on the market. And this is one of them, guys. And then we have this one inspired by um, Coco Mademoiselle. If you love that DNA, get yourself some Club de Nui Women. Okay, I'm going to put those back and go straight to the one behind them. And that is Club de Nui Intense uh, Women. Okay, this one is inspired by Tom Ford's. Um, Tom Ford's, Tom Ford's. I'm going to get back to it. I've just forgotten. Um... This is Otzi Om, you know, a fragrance that women can totally well wear as well. Okay, love, love, love that one. And then this one is uh, Amorphs Italiano Donna, inspired by Dol Dolce & Gabbana's Parfum Intense Women, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now we have your Billie Eilish Eilish um, smeller like here in the name of Nebras by Latafa. Chocolate Delight, Cacao, if you love that, you're going to love this. And then just behind that, we have Litafa Muna, a fragrance I've been uh, talking about. Rose and uh, maybe fruits in there. Very lovely feminine fragrance. Okay. And then we have Shard. Nice summery uh, fragrance there with a little bit of some patchouli from Litafa. And then we have Halter. Um, Halter blend of Latafa special blend or something like that this I'm not a hundred what it's a clone of this is another guinea made clone uh, some of you guys wanted to know because they've made another one this one's called Tawil but this one didn't quite hit the market that much Betty Al Oud Honor and Glory beautiful pineapple creme brulee uh spices type of fragrance this feels like a mix of Nishani Ani with Hasivat and a lot of spices. Okay, that is what I can say about this one. Very nice. It starts off screechy though, very screechy. That when you get it for the first time, you're probably gonna say, Oh my god, what the you know hell is that? And then you let it sit a little, it'll transform and become very nice. This one is also another one, but this doesn't start off screechy, it just starts off going nowhere, really. It just it just starts off as just a fragrance, like a burst of alcohol and a little bit of some fruitiness, but after about four, six weeks, this becomes a gorgeous, gorgeous red apple, ripened red apple type of, you know, um, fragrance with a lot, with like spices, but the spices are not doing the most. It feels a little bit like Keali's Eden Juicy Apple, but bitter. And the good thing about this one is even men can wear this, okay? Then we have Betty Al Oud, 
amethyst this is a love or hate for some people it's a yay for some people it's a nay because uh this in as much as it draws its inspiration from uh, atomic rose it has a rubbery thing that some people do not like so i have three from the range i used to have four since decluttered the black one because that one you know has got like remnants of burnt tires in as much as it's an oud for glory you know clone now, somebody might bring it back to my collection through gifting or something because my family has got this thing of they have this thing of just picking the wrong fragrances for me or the ones are decluttered say it's a christmas or it's a birthday somebody comes with one of those fragrances that i already do not care for for some reason it's happened three times so mimi don't look at me that's why i'm saying <laughs> that okay Mahajan Gold, very nice uh, caramel uh, fragrance, very sugary there if you love sweet fragrances. And then we have Ansem uh, Gold, which is your uh, Oriana slash Love Don't Be Shy clone. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done, you know, with this section. <laughs> All right, now it's quite crowded here. But the one thing that I can say about this section is these are all the taffas. So we have that trio there. Okay, that is another trio that didn't quite make it when it comes to the Latafas. This one's kind of like a fudgy caramel scent. It's called Wazir. And then we have Sophia, uh, your um, fragrance that kind of feels like Frenchy to my nose. And then we have this one. This one is just doing nothing really. Let me remove that so that you can see. It's just one of those Arabian fragrances that I'm a mere. Okay, it's just, it just has that Latafa DNA. That you really cannot say what they were going for except to say it smells middle eastern so that's what i can say about that oud al, al sahra we have this uh this is inspired by a girl lane okay um I'm Kerr something okay forgetting that original yara that put the yara uh, the yara line on the market this is yara so your strawberry uh your um I don't know whether you can put boozy and strawberry in the same line but it does feel like a soury boozy strawberry scent the more it sits okay and then we have your yara tooth if you love mangoes you're gonna love this fragrance it's very mango forward and this one that i'm putting back is oud mood uh, musk this is just great for layering it's just a plain musk nothing much to explain there just musk in its raw form that's what you're going to get from this so this um, as a standalone, like just wearing it like that might be complicated. You may want to layer that. And then we have Kaid Al Fasan, the unlimited edition. This is basically your coconut on steroids. Okay. Some people have said this one is um, Mancera's Coco, Coco Vanille or vanille, whatever. Coco Vanille or something like that inspiration but i have since purchased a mizono hambra one that smells very identical to that um cocoa vanilla and i can say this one is a little bit too milky for me uh if that is what it's going for to me doesn't outright smell like that another one from the latafa pride collection this one is the collections the antique 1910 this is another one that fell but fortunately it just got a chip it didn't break completely i haven't uh established what this one is inspired by but for the ladies i can outright say this smells uh masculine so if you're a woman you may want to test this before you purchase it it does to my nose smell very masculine but would make a great gift you know if you know like a man's man uh, you know tattoo type of person a biker or whatever it'll be just nice to add to their collection and then we have another mask here mask um mask what? um roll our mask okay now that is a floral mask there which you can wear on its own old or layer okay and then we have this one mahashan silver your creed silver mountain water uh inspiration right there and then we have this quad here these four right anna abied Poudre is going to be in the same vein as Narciso Rodriguez's uh, Poudre. And Abiyad Rouge is going to be like your uh, Baccarat Rouge uh, 540, but lighter interpretation. Then we have Anna Abiyad Leather. This is like your uh, Mimo Irish Leather, okay, but very sweet there. Uh, quite the florals are really amped up so the leather is not that much it's more of the juniper berry that you're going to get from this one you know to an extent leaning feminine there and then we have the i am white which feels a lot like herba puree all right now onto this tray i don't even know where to start guys this is um and some silver 
your Azaro wanted uh, wannabe. Azaro wanted knight. And then we have this one. This I do not care for. It's called Kashaf, right? Oh, I was just looking at that thinking it's called. It's the same name. That one is Kanye. This one's called Kashaf. Okay, this is very patchouli forward. Um, it is inspired by patchouli something. If you go on my um, other channel, I think I did mention what it's inspired by. And then there is, of course, the famous Oud Mood. This is one fragrance that put Latafa on the market, inspired by Lancome's Oud Bouquet. But this one is a bit rough around the edges, but very, very loud. What happened to that one? It broke. Uh, it fell. It fell. I've had it for a while. So it fell. It fell. I did tell you that they will catch a few stray bullets. I don't know what this one is doing here, this white diamonds luster. So we're going to act like we didn't see that one. Because it's all about the Middle Eastern ones. Okay, now this is Infinite Absolute. This is going to be a lot like your Creed Aventus, right? With an M'd up pineapple note there and a woody base. Very spicy, very spicy there. Okay. Raw Human. It's a little bit like a Girl Flames Occur Intense mixed with Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. And then you punch it in with some apricots and whatever it is. And it becomes a mishmash of whatever it is. So I'm trying to get rid of this. Uh, I'm wearing it. It's not an awful DNA, this Raw Human. But I won't miss it when it's finished, okay? And then we have this one, okay? It's going to have wafts of like a Baccarat Rouge kind of thing there. But uh, taking a little bit of a different direction. Oh, and it's called Royal Sapphire. And then we have this one, Oud Mood Elixir. I don't know what this one is inspired by, but if you like your cinnamon forward fragrances, you're going to love this one, cinnamon on leather. You're going to love that one. But a lot of people from the range, because there's four of them, there's Oud Mood Musk, remember? And then there's the original Oud Mood there, which is uh, the, the uh, Lancome Oud Bouquet's rough around the edges kind of interpretation. And then there's the reminiscent and then there is this elixir. This elixir, a lot of people find it quite difficult, you know, like to like. So that's one that may be from the three you want to test out. This one is nice. I can't remember what this is inspired by, honestly. This could very well be a standalone, guys. But it doesn't distance itself a hundred from that Oud Mood DNA. And then we have this one. This one is called Aziza, right? This is... Simply put your Carolina Herrera good girl clone. And then, let's see if there's a lot of. Ooh, Jesus. Is it's it cracked. It's cracked. Yeah. Do you want to show them? And these are some of the perks of trying to show your fragrance collection. Okay. So we almost lost him. Look, collections, antique. 1910 uh anyway let me put it like this all right let me since we're done with this section anyway let me put them sideways like that anyway so back to business we have um kashabi okay kashabi this simply put is gonna be your uh summer leaning freshy of a fragrance and then we have this one this one un unfortunately did not you know do well anti for it's built around the minty note there. Somebody asked me to do a mint note fragrances. This is the best I can think of. anti Focat. If you like aromatic minty fragrances, you're going to like that. Sitting on a patchouli base. And then we have Morka Silky Rose. Uh, a fragrance that has similarities to, um, to the favorite. And then the favorite by Penhaligans. And then we have this one. I always forget what this one is inspired by, but I've spoken about it in my review. Okay. It kind of looks like Muna. Yeah, it kind of looks like Muna, but it's inspired by some niche fragrance. And I've forgotten the name. I'm sorry for that, guys. And then we have this one, Nashit Yonishani Ani, Inspiration. And then we have Ajaib Dubai. This fragrance, just like this needs you to be very patient with it 
I dismissed this. I said it smelled like tar. I said it, said it smelled like the most awful thing. I said it smelled like burnt tires. I couldn't get the caramel. It has pineapple. I couldn't get that. But after some time, this thing mixes to become one of the most perfect or one of the most well blended fragrances from the Tafa Ajaib Dubai. I'm yet to add the Ajaib gold from this no, yeah the Ajaib gold I'm yet to add it I will add it later on in my collection. Kaid Alpha Sun pineapple balm a little bit like Nishani Hasiva there with some spices. So that's it for this oh oh I forgot in this one okay uh this one is your elite just white inspired by the costi l13 plus blah, blah dot dot 13 that type of thing but it's like a gym scent like a fresh summery gym scent okay so we're pretty much done with this section so now we're over to this section okay um but you know the setting on my cupboards make it very tricky uh to even do anything that makes sense when it comes to like laying them out this is why you find that when i do my my review next i would have removed all of them because they fall they this they that so with this tray there is the trio there okay and there is higher my favorite that was introduced in 2023 that's higher for you beautiful fragrance there don't know what it's inspired by then there's sakina a fruit bomb passion fruit there if you love tropical fragrances you're gonna love sakina and then there is this one you know floral fragrance a bit like your gucci flora type of fragrance this is called iman um all those have a decent lasting power and then we have your cocktail intense from fragrance world of course inspired by angel share and then we have icy roses again inspired by a killian but this time roses on ice uh from fragrance world and then we have uh emir fire your desire another angel share clone i mean guys how many do we need and if you think that was the last one just wait a bit there's this one as well intoxicate by the fate so the choice is yours whether you want cocktail intense whether you want intoxicate, uh, whether you want fire your desire, it's entirely up to you. And then we have Paris Corner Neuf, a fragrance that smells exactly like Rave Now, your pineapple balm. And then we have the very popular camera, right? The regular one, as well as the Kawa, right? So these are the two. This is the latest addition to my collection. And right there at the back, here there is some Astafs. There's Princess of Arabia. Uh, there is the pink ass stuff there. I don't know if you can see that one. There's a pink ass stuff there. Privé Rose. And then right at the corner there, there is Prince of Arabia, the black one, okay, there. And then there is Andalib Flora. And we have the latest edition there, Bhutania, which is also a Nishani dupe. Oh, clone. And then we have these two. They are Titiana Terenzi clones. Uh, one is called um, Atlantis. Co Atlantis Coral, and then the other one is just called Atlantis. Okay, I have full reviews of these guys if you want to know exactly which Tiziana Terences they're cloning because they've gone, you know, I've completely forgotten. And then we have Astaf Giyad or Gaid, which is a Mansera Red Tobacco clone. And we have these two twinning here. This is Vibrant Orange and Neroli from uh, Paris Corners Emir line. This one is a by Radio Sundays clone. And then we have Ame, uh, this Emir Vibrant and Tobacco. This is a Tobacco Mandarin. Okay, this is a by Radio Tobacco Mandarin clone. And if I miss this one, this is Narcotic Flower from Maison Alhambra inspired by Fleur Nakatik by Ex Nahilo. And then we have a mere just citrus. And this is your girl Lane, the Frenchy uh, clone. And then um, there is that one, Phenomenal, Phenomenal Hatos White there. Uh, that one is your... Um, um, I always get that one twisted, guys. Beach Walk. But it's going to smell a little bit, again, like uh, Tom Ford's, that, that, type of, that, that type of vibe, okay? That is the phenomenal Quattos from Paris Corner. And then at the top here, it's just little bottles like this that can fit, guys. This is my mini rough bar and then my mini um, rums gold. Okay, so then the, there is that giant rough bar there, which is, of course, the bigger one, the normal size to the little one. It has darkened a lot. 
because it's been there for a while. And then we have this one uh, from Ad Al Zafran Al Khanin. This one didn't quite hit the YouTube community, but it's a nice kind of like crisp apple forward fragrance, nice for summer. And then we have this Al Al McNoon, another lemony, limey, summery fragrance. Okay. All right, now this shelf is one that was decent enough to cooperate a little in the sense that it did absorb as many fragrance world fragrances as it could until everything went pear shaped and they couldn't fill the entire shelf and i just had to put random ones like the uh the what is this one like the ample ones okay so these are mostly fragrance world starting with the mock wood right hope i pronounced that one right mock more wood okay um this one is gonna be a little bit like your uh, intense cafe um and then you have pink fame there your alien goddess smell alike and then they have that optimistic her which is a burberry her elixir smell alike baraka gentle gold inspired by gentle fluided gold by mfk the lures inspired by mark jacobs a decadence Hayati, uh, this is Hayati Royale, inspired by Tucker Rabanne's One Million. Um, and then we have, and then we have this one, which is Francique. Let me just take it out because, you know, as luck would have it, the labels had to be on the other side. Francique 107.9 from Fragrance World draws its inspiration from rouge smoking and then francique 63.55 from fragrance world draws this inspiration from um from Gris chanel uh i love these bottles for some reason they're just therapeutic to me i think they're very well made okay they're very very well made then there's velvet rouge okay velvet rouge this one is your rouge Velaz smell alike ysl rouge villa smell alike remember we said this is a fragrance world section so if i forget to, to keep saying fragrance world most of them are from fragrance world and then here we have your shalina inspired by delina shalina exclusive inspired by delina exclusive and then we have white as tuberose inspired by uh tuberose nui by uh Gerh lane and then we have Fresh as Citrus, inspired by Girl Lane's um, The Frenchie, The Vend. And then we have this one, Leather So Rare. I get an uh, ombre leather type of situation there, even Amouage interlude men type of situation there. Although one of my subbies did say this one is also inspired by Girl Lane. So I've forgotten the name of the one she said it was. So. I'm going to pass it off as what my nose kind of perceives it as, that leather so rare. So if you love your Amouage interlude, let me hold the one I'm talking about. If you love your Amouage interlude, men, or you love your Tom Ford ombre leather, you're going to love this leather so rare, okay? And then we have a pose as Rose, inspired by Girl Lane's um, Rose Cherie. And then we have Vanilla So Sweet. This one has no identity to my nose, but smells a lot like angel shit to an extent so they passed it off as a girl lane spiritual Ruiz double vanille but i get a fragrance that smells like angel shit some somewhere along those lines and let me just also correct the narrative going around that this could be a vanilla 28 by kelly clone it's not guys it's not don't buy it for that buy it for what it is it's not um then there is this one okay Ebony Fume, inspired by Tom Ford's Ebony Fuming. And then we have Pepper So Spicy. This is going to just, I don't know, I need to slice my tongue for this one. A piece as piece, a piece as whatever by Gurk Lane. But it's a very spicy uh, fragrance, very spicy, very peppery there, a piece of something, okay? That is what it's inspired by. Now, Moish. Is not part of Fragrance World. This is part of a company called Milestone, but I just put it there together with this from FA Paris, which is a subsidiary of um, Fragrance World, just because of the shape of the bottles, right? Just because the bottles look like Amouage bottles. Okay, so Moish Gardens, we have established by now that it's nothing to do with uh, Amouage. Um, Amouage what? Amouage what? Interlude. 
No, Amouage. You see, this is, I don't know, Amouage. I don't know. Something. Amouage something. But it's it's not that anyway. So even if I remember the name, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, and then we have Abrage Carmine. This one is in the same vein as uh crimson rocks and this one from fa paris actually is at par with crimson rocks so if you want an alternative for that this is a good one fa paris is part of fragrance world and then there's mouage ice age uh again purported to be inspired by amouage lineage but i don't smell that in this but it's a nice enough fragrance on its own and then to the far end there we have picky rose a fragrance that draws its inspiration of course from Tom Ford's Rose Prick by Fragrance World. And then this one is off Milestone. I just put it there. Like I said, it's a mishmash of things because uh, I didn't want to leave the space empty. Okay, so this one is Amoris Her. Uh, this draws us inspiration from uh, Carolina Herrera Private Line Amethyst Haze. Okay, Amethyst Haze. And then this one is F.A. Paris, which again, I did say F.A. Paris is part of Fragrance World. So, uh milestone is not part of fragrance world but fa paris is so this is fa paris the fire inspired by louis vuitton's louis the fur okay and then there is milestone brown tonka drawing its inspiration from uh carol Herrera's tonka something if you go on google and you put carol Herrera. You just make sure it's the private line and you put tonka there there's gonna be a tonka something that comes up and that's what they were going for there okay I, i'm not trying to be funny here i'm just forgetting some of the names but pretty sure guys you can give me some credit here i'm trying as much as i can to remember as much as i can okay then we have rose de privé from fa paris and this one is your um amani uh privé a uh, rose de ruby clone right and then this is also from milestone and this one's called prime inspired by frederick miles promise i like it i like it you can purchase that very long lasting fragrance there and then of course we have lady president i intend to explore this house because the two that i got so far i am impressed this one is Lady Presidente, just there's nothing else after that Lady Presidente, but it is a mango bomb. If you love mangoes, you will love this one. We actually have a lot of mangoes on the trees. If you, you know, if I took one of the mangoes from the trees and I beat into that or I just smelt it, you get a lot of what you're going to get from the fragrance. Very mango forward, but in a pleasant way. It's not even a shy mango like the one you get from cashmere, chopart, chopart cashmere, where you know you might need to dig for the mango this one is like in your face but at the same time it's not like yara tooth so don't let this one stop you from buying yara tooth they're both mango forward fragrances but they're not the same and then there's lady president guys from emperor again this one smells a lot to my nose like chanel's coco mademoiselle okay guys so that's just about it for this particular shelf now we're going to move on to the bottom shelf and disclaimer the bottom part isn't as pretty as where we've come from because by this time 43 year old c was tired now i'm gonna go on my 43 year old knees and guys i think we're gonna have a story time or something where anyone in their 40s tell me how are you coping everything just hurts the knees hurt the the legs hurt the back uh, the back hurts you know it's just it just goes pear-shaped after that i don't know i just don't know guys and you know this is just me kneeling here but i know after this i'm gonna need like maybe two days of maybe like a gentle massage on my knees anyway let's just finish what we started Naima. okay so this is the bottom shelf this was just a mix of everything else that couldn't go nowhere not that i hate them i love my perfumes but there is like th there's just no order going on here right at the corner that's musk vanille from maison alhambra inspired by uh, rose's musk and then another one from maison alhambra there a uh, suede intense inspired by gulflane's cur intense and then we have this one, Khalad. Smells a little bit like Very Good Girl from Latafa. And then my only Al Watania 
all right uh, there is a house called our tanya haven't explored a lot from this house they do have affordable fragrances but this is the only one i got chocolate strawberries that sort of thing caramel starts off very screechy but after it sits for a while it opens up to like a caramel burst of a fragrance that feels a little bit like casablanca um, by swiss arabian okay and then there is of course uh velvet mood by latafa another one that put latafa on the map and then there's a company called white oud um this one's called Feyruz. it's inspired by uh roses vanille they didn't market their things well these guys because they've got a lot of fragrances but i don't see their presence on the internet and then there's paris corner paris corner has got a line called killer oud where they kind of went on the amouage kind of you know amouage cloning stuff but this one is nothing to do with amouage this one is actually a Byredo black saffron clone it's called killer oud knights of arabia and then this is like uh from uh a a perfumer as a Zimbabwean perfumer uh she goes by the her company name is uh exotic scents this one is called it's one of those that have long names Clem, clevis clevis or one and then there is uh color mine okay and then there is this one perfumery 101 uh this one is very, very nice zesty type of you know summery fragrance i did a full review of it as well and then we have a tar collection halter night a lot of people are familiar with that and then we have from maison alhambra why do all the labels have to face the other side as if i'm not working hard enough i now have to twist everything around le intense inspired by g von she's Lentity, Lentity, okay. Tweet by Mizona Hambra, inspired by Twilly. And then we have Tux Tuskin. This is a um, Paris Corner standalone. It's their own creation. It is marketed as their own creation. This Tuskin smells of peach and apricot. And then Maison Alhambra Coco. What is it? Montaigne Coco, okay, inspired by Mancera's. Coco Vanille. And then we have Astaf. I don't know why this one ended up here. Dahlia. This one is a bit like uh, I Want to. And then this Pandora inspired by Killian. Uh, Impressions 3 by Pandora. You learn fruit trees. And then we have Rich Lady inspired by Lady Million. This one is from Lemuse. And then we have Lavish Luna by Le Fade. This one is almost like your Olympia clone precious gold by maison alhambra inspired by mark jacobs a perfect intense lavish blush by uh le fade inspired by idol okay your basic idol uh this one is amethyst brown brown orchid amethyst by fragrance world inspired by your alien milestone bibliotic inspired by bibliotic by Bay Redo. Okay. The one, yeah. This is your um, Britney Spears fantasy. This one didn't make the rounds, but very nice fragrance. This one is called, it's called 24 Hours Something. Ad Al Zafran, 24 Hours Something for Women. Okay. Now, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Now I'm sitting just to make sure that we end it with my life intact. <laughs> I don't want to lose my life. <laughs> or break my bones showing you my fragrance collection guys so i've said just to preserve my life i told you this 43 year old thing is not a joke okay so georgian the lion heart uh flavia perfumes is part of a moth that one is gonna be uh your roaring red cliff clone and then i have a couple of um our rehabs there the susan that one's going to be your amarish clone uh we have this one reveler by the house verve it's your basically it's your olivia bell and then we have again another parish corner there vogue spices is it par with ivory roots and then we have fanan by orientica this is also mango based um i think this is a standalone but it smells a lot like mangoes okay and then we have the uh, newly added to my collection the triumphant sapphire inspired by body sears um 
blue sapphire victoria's blue sapphire something like that and then our rehab soft of course your um what do you call that one what's the name of that pink sugar okay your pink sugar clone there and the brass uh a bit like some people say they get organza but i don't get organza guys ajwad okay ajwad guys i cannot believe that i've seen about three reviews that say beyonce's new newly hyped fragrance it smells like ashwat it's unbelievable guys so i don't know maybe i'm gonna smell it one day i don't know uh, this one is just one of those ones from latafa i just i just purchased one it's called al shamook this one smells a little bit like lancome's hypnos and then i have our rehabs tutti mask this is just your nice apple summery fragrance and then i have these three guys from sterling perfumes and I haven't reviewed them because I've never seen anyone talk about them. What happened with these ones is I did buy fragrances uh, from South Africa's Parfumo. Is it Parfumo Absolute? And they just threw these ones, you know, as a gift, which was nice of them. But unfortunately, I didn't get to kind of to talk about them because I don't know. I, I know it says Sterling Perfume, so they're Middle Eastern, but I've never seen anybody talk about these fragrances. So I just added them to my collection and just let it be. And then we have Masalama from um, Latafa, very nice mask there. And then we have your Choco Mask, which I believe is a must have. If you love layering your fragrances, you're going to love this one from Our Rehab. French coffee, okay, French coffee, very polarizing coffee there, dark roast, quite sticky, very sticky. You will just be smelling of coffee the whole day when it comes to this one. These are just fragrances I added to make sure that this side is not empty, okay. So these are not Middle Eastern. There is a company called Shake. Some people are probably familiar with it. Uh, but why I don't talk about this company is not that it's not good, but it's one of those companies this is, that bottles everything in the same bottle like Zara. And then they just put numbers there. So to even talk about the company really doesn't make sense, you know, to me. Um, and all these were not sponsored. I just purchased them with my own money. I just wanted know, to know how good they were. But I am pretty sure you guys looking at these bottles probably know this company. That one is a naughty one. I don't know why she is there. Exclamation. She has nothing to do with the Middle Eastern tone. But she is there. I can excuse Jade Goody controversial because that one was actually created in the Middle East. So that I can excuse. But why exclamation decided to squeeze herself there? I don't know, guys. So let's move on to the last part, okay? Let me just try to stand up, okay? This is just a pile up of some of the fragrances that really couldn't fit anywhere, okay? So this is a La Rive Taste of Kiss inspired by... Uh, Le Nuit Trésor. These are my Avons. I'm not going to hype them because we're talking about Middle Eastern fragrances. And we have the Orienticas. Let me just show you how one of the minis would look like. We have featured all these Orienticas. I think 15 of them in one video. If you're interested in these minis, Orientica makes nice fragrances, guys. But they present their minis in one in the same bottle, which is just this one. And then you get different labels there. So that is my little miniature collection of the Orientica. And in the bottom part there, I did put the Art Al Zafrans there. We've got Wafa, okay. And then we've got U24 Hours, the one that did put Art Al Zafran on the map. And then we've got Shalima Oud. And no, guys, this has got nothing to do with the girl playing shalima i often have people asking me about that this actually smells like um smells a lot like tom ford's tuscan leather okay it smells a lot like tuscan uh tuscan leather if i'm not mistaken or at least let me just say an oud mood type of dna a uh, very caramel forward there and then we have that uh cotton candy mask great for layering and then the last one there is going to be heba uh that other bottle here is I believe off Paris Corner as well. They have what's called the Zara scent, but nobody seems to talk about it. So I just stopped talking about it. But it's a nice peachy, apricoty type of scent. And then we have this Lavoe, which is your Maison Alhambra's rendition of My Way. That one is not Middle Eastern. It's a Jean Arthes. So that concludes, guys, my entire Middle Eastern collection. I'm going to give you a western collection 
not immediately after obviously i'm gonna see where i can tuck it in but i'm gonna show you my uh western collection the nine middle eastern ones i just thought to separate them like that on this channel and then i'm gonna show you my perfume oil collection i'm gonna show you my niche collection that sort of thing but it's not like we're gonna make it about just fragrances i just like i said this channel is about everything and everything so videos like this to fit in my name is c chronicles and this has been unscripted thank you so much guys for joining me today please remember to like comment share and subscribe all the nice stuff it helps with the algorithm also check out my main channel c chronicles talking sense i love you guys as always and i'll see you in the next one Mwah! bye for now